So hello, Soda family. Um, Dr. Gunn and I wanted to take just a few minutes. Dale will be joining this message soon. As we go into this holiday season, none of us expected we'd still be in this COVID crisis. We're still seeing high numbers of COVID coming into our hospital regularly. The holiday season is a time to relax and enjoy and can be stressful. And on top of that, we have COVID we're still dealing with. So we wanted to just give you a message of appreciation and of thanks. You can see we're wearing our masks, we're being compliant. We thank you for wearing your masks and being compliant as well. It's important that we send a message to our community. The community was so favorable and supportive at the beginning of the year. They sent us food, they did um, rallies in the parking lot, and it's often easy to think they forgot about us. They haven't, um, they're still thankful we get positive messages, but we realize that this is a stressful time for all of us and we're all a little burned out. So we wanna just give you a message of hope and of thankfulness and appreciation for what you're doing. Sharanda? Yeah, as we've moved in the last eight months, it's amazing how far we've come and how much work everyone has done. Um, as everyone has gotten so tired and tired of this fight, I reached out to a colleague who's in the Midwest and they have quite a different picture. Um, they are, ICUs are full. They are in the height of their COVID pandemic. It's important that we know this fight is not over. We still need to wear our masks. We still need to be safe and we still need to be careful. Thanks, Alan. Uh, thanks, Dr. Gunn. Uh, I wanted to say a uh, good day to our Sova family as well. Uh, and I want to say thank you for uh, everything that you're doing as a Sova health system to take care of our patients each and every day. Uh, the things you do every day are what makes a difference in the lives of our families and of our patients here in this community. Uh, lots of stick to uh, resilience. Um, I'm, I'm amazed daily when I walk around the hospital uh, and see uh, what you're facing every day um, and the resilience you have uh, because at the heart of everything, it's taking care of our patients and helping them get better. Been a long year. Um, um, it's been a tough year, and COVID obviously has made that year much tougher, uh, has made things much tougher. Uh, one thing I wanted to touch on before I go too far is uh, reiterating wearing of the masks. Uh, no, I'm not wearing one right now because I'm sitting in my office by myself. Uh, however, if you have a second person in the room, uh, you're in the company of another person anywhere in this hospital uh, or, or the Danville Hospital, uh, please make sure you have your mask on, you have your appropriate attire on, uh, to uh, protective equipment on and are wearing that appropriately. Uh, very important also that we are very vigilant when we're out in the communities uh, wearing masks, uh, making sure that we have the appropriate protection on uh, to help convey that message uh, as a team. But I want to say thanks to everything you're doing every day. Um, and you know, this is a holiday season coming up. This week is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody and their families. Uh, and the extended holiday period you know, through the end of the year uh, does not make our task any easier. Obviously, COVID is still raging across the country. Uh, we're still having to deal with that here locally uh, in both our hospitals. Uh, we're still having to deal with that, each one of us personally, uh, as we care for patients. Uh, but don't forget um, to make sure you try to take some time, take care of yourself over the holidays. Take a few days to, uh, to let your hair down, if you will, uh, to get away and at least have some time with your families, with your loved ones, uh, or whoever it is you, you uh, uh, celebrate the holidays. Do that and make sure you don't forget to do that. I think it's much more important this year than ever before, frankly, uh, to have some time to kind of re-energize as we're going into the next year. You know, we, uh, we have gone through a lot this year. We've managed well. You guys are rock stars and have really done a great job at managing our patients, taking care of our patients. Lots of patients are better off because they came to see us and we helped them get well. Uh, we've had other challenges um, that we faced on a daily basis. Uh, we are still, as everybody is aware, unable to open up our visitation policy on the inpatient side. We have to make sure we're doing what's best for our community and best for our staff and best for our patients. Uh, so we have not been able to allow the visitation policy to be loosened up. Uh, we do have exceptions, obviously, uh, for folks that are end of life. We have exceptions there. We have exceptions for our OB patients and for pediatrics. Uh, we have opened up a uh, single visitation uh, for the um, ER and for some of our outpatient areas. But on the inpatient side, <clears throat> given the COVID situations we're dealing with, we haven't been able to do that. So 
please bear with us. We all realize, you know, I am a fervent believer in um, communication with families, families being at the bedside as part of the healing process, as we all are. Uh, so that's a really, really tough situation for us to have to continue to hold the line on. We're hoping we'll be able to loosen that up here in the next few weeks. Um, immunizations are on the way. Vaccinations are on the way. So hopefully once things start getting into the community uh, and folks are getting a little healthier, we'll be able to open that back up. That's certainly our goal. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that I said thank you, uh, as well as Alan and Dr. Ganolan. Uh, on behalf of our team, we want to thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, please take a little bit of time over the holidays, um, wear your mask as you're appropriately supposed to, um, and make sure that um, you're doing your best, uh, continue to do your best despite the challenges. We're here for you, we wanna help you, um, and we'll get through this together. Thank you very much. Expect another update probably this week. I believe we're gonna do another update, update on Wednesday. Uh, so I'll be looking for that. Thank you very much and happy holidays to everybody. So thank you, Dale. Appreciate your comments. Thank you, Sharanda, for your feedback and encouragement. As we go into this holiday season, special thanks to our community. Please remember to be um, careful during this holiday season. Wear your masks when you're gathering. Um, the process we've always used, wash your hands, don't touch your face, is still the best way to stay safe. Um, thanks to our employees for your resilience. Keep up the good work. Let's finish this year strong, and we look forward to a happy and successful 2021. 2020 has been enough to deal with, so we're looking forward to the future. Thank you.